there's a there's someone that was birthday. I don't know. If, stand up. Did you celebrate a birthday not long? Yes. Huh? Yes. Is it was it your husband? I don't know. No. Huh? Come. Mm -mm. Because I'm, when I'm looking at you, I'm seeing you celebrating your birthday. <coughs> We're going to celebrate him on July. Huh? July. You're saying what? To July. We'll celebrate on July. Yeah. What's that? But also my birthday is in June. But there's another one. The one we celebrated was my sister's daughter. It's not long. Uh-uh. So I want to pray for you. I wish your husband was here. I wanted to tell him something. Because I'm hearing that you celebrated a birthday not long. Yes, we And your did. birthday is this month. Yes. Huh? Mm. So I want to tell you, next year, this time, can I speak it like Elijah? Amen. Next year, this time, you'll be celebrating in your house. Amen. Because I saw you celebrating and your birthday is this month. Yes. I want to tell you, next year this time, you and your husband will be celebrating. And there's a spirit that visits him. I wish he was here. <laughs> I wish yes. he was here. What is he? He's outside. Go and call him. I was telling you that I saw a celebration. Yes. Oh, you know me? Yes. Of a birthday, I don't know, it's like you, you went out to celebrate a birthday. So mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to tell you, I was telling you that next year this time. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. There will be a breakthrough in your house. Amen. And because it's June now and it's a birthday month. Yes. Next year this time, there's something good that is coming to you. Amen. And there's a spirit in the night. Yes. That sometimes even when you want to pray, it makes you very lazy. Very true. Huh? Very true. And this spirit sometimes is coming there to press you. Yes. So I want to tell you, this thing must leave you. Come out! And from here, you'll see what God will do. Amen. Come out, you demon! And there's a lady, there's a lady, I don't know, there's, there's a girl who's troubling you. Your people, you're free. Amen. Even wherever she is, this lady, she's also free. Amen, amen. There's a lady. Huh? Yes. There's a girl. Yes. That I don't want to speak many things. We must pray for her. Amen, I will do so. My name is Dimaka Jonechifome. I'm coming from Pretoria. Today, the man of God located you. What is it that he has said to you? And also, can you confirm it? I, I was surprised because, honestly, I was not expecting a prophecy. But always, I know in my heart there is something that is challenging me, and I've been believing God for so when the man of God came and gave a prophecy, in my heart, it was like I knew that God is answering the challenge that I always had in my heart. And what he said, I felt it like it's an encouragement to know that what I'm believing God for, I should not give up. It will still happen in God's time. So I should continue trusting him on his promises and trusting him on the prophecies that I've already received in this house. So when I heard him like picking me up, I was so overwhelmed. Like I was a bit shocked because I was like, I don't expect anything. But I was, I just feel like God confirmed my worries that when I was thinking of giving up, still God came through for me to confirm that don't give up on what you believe in it will still happen. Yeah.
and also the issue of celebration that you celebrated somebody else uh, somebody's birthday can you also confirm that yes there was a celebration on the 25th of may for my sister's daughter she was celebrating her 30th birthday and uh, we 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 did a party for her in my house and then it's also my birthday june 23rd i'll be celebrating my birthday and even my husband also i think the first of july he will be celebrating his birthday and also the man of god did not only locate you but he also located your husband how did you feel when you and your husband were being spoken to today that god has, has not forgotten about us that whatever we are going through is like in our house god still like he did not forget us all the promises that he has ever made in our family they're still going to they'll, they'll be fulfilled so we should not give up we are just so encouraged to be honest because uh you know, sometimes you feel like you don't need prophecy, but what what has been said or pronounced in the house, it applies to you also. But when you're picked up, it, it was just an encouragement for me to say, indeed, God sees what we are going through and he has not forgotten about us and still our family. Next year, June, we'll be celebrating. There'll be breakthrough for my house. There'll be breakthrough for my children that are still coming. And even for the children that I'm staying with now. Mm. I want to pray for you. But always when you sleep, hmm, the spirits that are visiting you. And sometimes I'm seeing animals. Yes, it's true. Very huh? true. Very true. I'm seeing animals, different animals. Yes, yes. And when they come to your room, you don't know what happens. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. It's like they're coming to do something very bad mm, with you. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? It's true. Very bad. And I'm seeing here going down. Yes. Huh? Mm, You're very true. much affected. Yes, very much huh? affected. Too much. So listen, today, this spirit that is visiting you, it must leave you because it has affected your private part. Amen. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. It has affected your... I'm speaking parables. Yes, it's true. Very true. God, you demon. Demon. Hmm? What are you doing here? Hmm? Do you know us? Do I know you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you know Of us? course I don't know you. Who are you? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Who are you? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. This Who girl. Are you? Huh? She is very respect disrespectful. So Mwano, this girl. You are talking about this girl. Hmm. So why are you attacking a private now? Hmm. Huh? We want her to come back. It's long we've been calling her. Come back and sit at home. You wanted to come back. Mm. That's why you attack a private. Yes, yes. Hmm? Mm. Then how, tell me, how, how are you attacking her? Mm. We just come at night. She knows. Mm? She knows, man. She at knows. Night, at her dreams. She dreams very bad. It's us. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out. Leave her private. Private, you demon. Come out. I touch that stomach. Hmm? Leave it for us. In Jesus' mighty name. I put fire in that stomach. Hmm? In Jesus' name, Amen. she's free. My name is Julia. I come from Limpopo originally, but I, right now I reside in Ivory Park. Today you received a word of prophecy. Can you tell us what was said upon your life and also confirm it? The word of prophecy that I've received from the man of God, the prophet Andres, he said to me... Uh, 
they are bad dreams that I see at night. Uh, they come in form of uh, strange uh, animals. These animals, they affect me, especially in my private parts. The reason being that these strange dreams, I cannot explain them. They are very strange to me as well when I see them. So the attack that I see is that these things, they sleep with me at night. So it, it, because of that, they, uh, they, as they affect me in my private parts, I'll be feeling pains in my, in my womb. And they'll be also discharged. They'll be coming out of my private parts. Yes. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting me because I'll be feeling pains in my womb. I'll be feeling pains and then also I've been asking God these things because it's long time these things have been coming out. So I've, I've been asking God when will my deliverance come yes, from these things that are coming out from my private parts. It's, it's been a long time. So you never went to the doctor or hospital to find out what's happening with you? Yes, I, I did went to, to the doctor. I don't remember which year was that, but it's been some years. So when I went to the doctor, they did a pap smear. After the pap smear, they told me, I, it's like you, you, you are having a, a womb cancer. Yes, so, but because I believe in God, I said, N -n -n, not me. So, but these things will keep coming out. So I've been asking God, when will my deliverance come? Yes. And when you were located and you were told about something that you've been suffering from and also the doctors had told you about a dreadful disease that you refused because you believed God, how did you feel? No, today I'm happy. I feel so much relieved. I feel so much relieved because even the time I was being prophesied, I was feeling pains. But after the deliverance, the pain is gone. I'm no longer feeling any pains in my, in my womb. There is no more pain. And I believe the discharge also is gone. Yes. So the mere fact that uh, you said you trusted God and when you were prayed for, you also manifested. So now you are aware this thing was a spiritual issue. Yes, I know it is a spiritual issue because in my dreams I'll dream a spiritual husband will come to sleep with me. And then sometimes it will come in a form of an animal that I cannot explain. It's very strange. And then sometimes it will come in a form of a familiar face. Maybe it will change faces. But I knew this is a demon. I've been asking God, when is my deliverance coming? So I thank God today that I'm free. Yes. And now what are you believing God for as you have received your deliverance and also you're no longer experiencing the pains that you are feeling, you were feeling in your womb? What is it that you're believing God for? No, from here onward I believe that uh, everything that I've been trying, applying for jobs, everything that I've been trying, I've been failing and I believe it's because of the same demon. So I believe that from now on, everything that I touch will prosper. Yes. This issue of your marriage and yes. this distance issue. Yes. Because this issue like Deben. Yes. Huh? Yes. Your husband is in Deben. Huh? Yes. It's so now I want to pray for you because it's affecting your house. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. I want to pray. You don't want him to come and work here. I want to. I've been praying for that. You've been praying for it? Yes. God has heard your prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Because you can't, he can't be there and you are here. Yes. For you to go and see him, you have to take a taxi or a bus. You go there. Yes. So I want to tell you, I'm praying that today. Amen. After I speak with you, there's something good that God will do. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Because even when you want money now, you have to take your phone. Trr, trr. Yes. Please, we need money for the baby. Yo. <laughs> for the days of my life. My life. For the days of my life. For the days of my life. Come out, you demon. You snake. Come out. What are you doing here? Hmm? Hmm? I'm saying, what are you doing here? Why are you blocking this man to come back? Huh? So you want to kill this marriage? Hmm? You want to kill this marriage? 
Huh? You want to kill this marriage? Hmm? Speak, you demon! You're free. My name is Rose Ngoben from Ivory Park. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Oh, the man of God prophesied to me that uh, I have an issue of a marriage, that my husband is working very far from home. And how was that affecting you? It was affecting us and my children very much because when you have to ask for money, you have to call him. Sometimes we struggle with finances at home and sometimes he comes three days at home and that, that affected me so much. And for how long has this been taking place? It, he went there f to work for there from 2008 until now. And the fact that you had to ask money uh, for the children and he's not around and sometimes he was unable to provide, how was that for you and for the children when you see that you can't provide for them? Oh, for me it was very hard because I have to struggle, I have to wait for money maybe for sometimes for three days and it has to stress me. I have a little baby at home, sometimes we find that we have nothing at home so it was, it was affecting me very much. Were you praying for God's intervention? Yes, it's, it's been a long time that I, I was praying for that. I was praying for, for God that he must at least find another job that he can come home and work this, this side. And how did you feel when the man of God today located you and also told you about something that was worrying you? Today I was so happy because for a very long time now I know that God... He was very, he was hearing, really hearing me all this time, and I know that my my prayers is has been answered today. And he said to me that after he talked to me, something good will happen. And I believe that today, something good from now is going to happen into my life. Mm. Thank you. My sister, your mom, your mom, we need to pray for your mom. Okay. Oh, you hear me? I mean, your mom, she has been praying, you know, for for marriage, but there's always disappointments. That's true. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Many people, when they come to you, they get interested for a small time, and from there they leave you. And I saw the cry of your mom. I want to tell you, your enemies will be disappointed. I will! Attack. He went. <laughs> you are saying what? You're a small boy, Wade. I'm a small boy? Yeah. Eh? You are a small boy. But I'm not the one who said I must do this. My father is there. He said I must do this. So what are you saying now? Hey, wait now. Huh? Shut up. I must shut up. Come out, you huh? demon! Woo. Come out! Hey! <laughs> ah! Leave, you demon! I destroy you. My name is Kony from Tembisa, but originally I come from Limpopo, ZB. And the man of God today located you. Can you tell us what he has said to you and also confirm it? Uh, he told me that my mom, she's worrying about my marriage. She wants me to get married, and which is true. Uh, always when she called me, she will ask me, oh, when is the day? And then I'll be laughing and promising her um, that it will come. Yeah, that's true. She's worrying about me. And how would it affect you, the fact that the man of God told you that People that come to you, they disappoint you. And your mom, on the other hand, they, she's wishing and praying that you should get married and you are promising her that it's going to come soon. How was that affecting you? Um, um, I don't know what to say. Because um, we'll be in a relationship maybe for a few months and then the man decided to just keep quiet. 
without any reason. Yeah. Mm. And I'll be asking myself what's wrong. But today I know that it's just demon mm. that is disturbing my relationship. Yeah. And today, as you have manifested and you have received your deliverance concerning marriage and concerning something that was worrying your mom, how are you feeling? Um, uh, motivated and uh, encouraged. Yeah, and I'm happy. <laughs> and what are you believing God for today? No more prophecy for marriage. It is done. <laughs> We separated. So, this is a, an issue of the family. That's true. Oh, you hear know me? Mm. That you people, you get people, but you separate. It's like all marriages. That's true. Everyone now who's still married, they're not happy. That's true. Oh, you hear know me? But I saw someone that you're close with. Who do you come here with? My friend, Despina. Huh? My friend. Your friend? Yeah. What is your friend? D. Because always when there's pain, you share. Oh, you hear me? So I want to tell you, both of you, you don't need to worry about what happened. From here, God will mend your heart and your heart will be healed. Amen. And, and listen, from here, always, if someone disappoints you, God can give you someone better. Are you hearing me? Amen. Come out! And you must never cry again. You have cried is enough. Come out, you demon! You're free. You're also free. I'm Zanella from Pumalang. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Um, he was talking about my husband. Yes, we did separate. And we separated before our son passed away. And then after our son passed away, things just, yeah, became even worse. So, yeah. How was that for you? It was painful. It was traumatic. But yeah, but God is good. And you also mentioned the fact that there is somebody that you're always sharing your problems with. Is that true? Yes, that's true. It's my friend. We share a lot together. Yeah. And how would you feel when you tell her the things that you are feeling? Um, we carry each other's loads. I think since from when we started to be friends, when she has problems, she'd come to me when I have problems, I go to her. So it's someone that I share a lot with. Mm. And what is it that you wanted God to do for you as you had this problem? I wanted him to confirm if it is through with my husband, if we're not supposed to fix things or anything of that kind, if we're supposed to move forward, because at the moment I'm standing still. I'm not doing anything, waiting to hear from him on what's the way forward. And the man of God also told you that you should be encouraged. You must not stop living. You must just continue living. How did you feel when he told you those words of encouragement? Um, it's, it strengthens my faith because that's the route I've been taking to press on, to move towards God and never look back. So it's very encouraging to show that I'm actually in the right direction. I'm moving in the right direction. And what are you believing God for now that you have received this word of change? I'm believing him for healing and for spiritual growth and for breakthrough in every aspect of my life and to break all family and generational curses because the curses we're talking about is actually true. Mm -hmm. And what kind of a generational curse was that? Um, when we get married, like the relationships just go south, like things just go bad. And then also there's... we. Like in my family, people have kids with different men. So yeah, something I want for myself. And how do you feel that not only 
yourself you were located but you were also located for your family co concerning this generational curse of marriage how are you feeling about that i'm actually glad because my brother was here but he had to leave early because he's going to work and my, the rest of my family is in pumalang so i'm actually glad that with me being here it helps the entire family amen so listen to this prophecy you've given this lady yeah. you say what there's a generational curse in my family. Like you meet someone and then they marry you, but before you know it, things just go south without knowing what's the problem really. You just start fighting and then you separate. That's the only prophecy you've been given? Oh, to stop crying. I've been crying a lot. And then uh, another thing was? Um, that if people disappoint me, God can bring better because I've been struggling with the fact that we say, I don't know what's the way forward. We have a problem in my family where um, the ladies have kids with different men and that's not something I want for myself. So right now I'm standing at a point where I don't know what to do moving forward. Do I continue? Do I move on or do I wait? And what was the prophecy there? I didn't get clarity on that. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. If you are disappointed, God will give you someone better. It's not a prophecy. Eh? That's the prophecy that you've been given. There's disappointment around the corner. And you've been crying. You still want to carry on crying? Yes or no? No. God will give you someone better. Oh. Ah. I mean, the, the, the issue is, you people here, sometimes this man is speaking. But the question is, I still want this person. I want a solution. I mean, you're on the center. Now you can move forward. Go give you someone better. It's Mudluli, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Let me pray for you. I want you to, to be an example in the family. Because the whole of Mudluli family, Oh, you hear me? Yes. The whole of Muduri family, you people are suffering. Huh? Yes. You people are suffering. Do you know anyone called John? John is my father. Because I'm hearing John. Huh? Yes, it's my father. It's your father? Yes. John? Yes. I want this case because you people you are trying everything, but the whole family is like it's in a cage. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So I want to pray for you today to be an example of everyone. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? Amen. And from here, I'm telling you there's something good that is coming to you. Amen. You'll give us a testimony. So where is John? Uh, my father now is in, he's in Mozambique. Huh? He's in Mozambique. In Mozambique. Yes. This poverty, it's over today. Amen. Come out! Come out! Come out, you demon! Go and tell John that God has heard the prayers of the whole family. Come out! You're free. My name is George. Uh, I come from Mozambique. I live in Mozambique actually, but I come from South Africa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy I received today, it was the prophet spoke about my surname, which is Mzuli. Uh, and uh, he said, uh, I'm facing, I'm, I'm suffering, my family is suffering, uh, which, is, which is true at this moment of time. I'm really facing difficulties, especially in business. He said my, uh, our family is caged and yes, I can say that I'm caged because whatever that I'm trying to do, not, nothing works out and 
I think this year I already lost a lot in my business. I think everything is stagnant here. I, I can confirm that everything is, is caged. Concerning, uh, he also mentioned the name John. John is my second, uh, second name of my father. Uh, uh, yes, my father is John. He's also facing difficulties at this moment of time. He's not working at this moment of time. He's trying to get tenders, but nothing works out. So whatever that he said, it's true. But uh, what encourages me is he said uh, from now on, things will change and I will be an example. And I really want to thank God for, for the prophecy. And I believe that really things will change. And whatever limitation that I was going through, it's coming to an end. Amen. And how was this affecting you and your family, this uh, spirit of poverty? Uh, it really affected. It, it's really affecting me. It's affecting me a lot. It's affecting me a lot because uh, at this moment of time, uh, I can say I, I don't have anything with me. I had a, a car, but the car, it's, I couldn't. I, actually, I, I lost everything. So this has affected me a lot. Even even people who I will be even be ashamed to be out of people because the life that I'm living now comparing to the life that we had it's completely different. So it's very painful. It's really painful. But I still believe God will do something. And how do you feel now that they've located you and also your family and your father and that they've also prayed for you? Uh, yes, I'm happy. Uh, I believe, I believe I'm free. And I, as the man, as the prophet has said, that I will come back with. Uh, I will testify anytime soon. I believe so that it has to happen very soon. I really need to testify. Yeah. Amen.